Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to an all-new episode of the Telltale Rum Club here on the Corky's World Channel. I'm Corky, as always, joined once again by my bud Alex. Hey, guys. And we are back. We we just got handed uh, two crackers and cheese, a beef stick, and an apple. Half an apple. Half an apple. And we are going to try and divvy that up among the people that are here. So Alex is actually going to decide who gets food and who doesn't. I'm just going to kick back and, and relax and enjoy the show. He, uh, he made the mistake in the last episode to not side with Kenny. In an argument, so we'll see how that pans out. So obviously, Kenny and his son are getting food. <laughs> so this is Katya. Do you want to talk to her or no. keep walking? All right. Yeah. He's dead dude. There's no giddy up in his step. Who else, who else we got? There's uh, there's Mark. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak. What do you want? A hand up? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. Yeah. Shut up, quit being such a man. God, fuck this guy. <laughs> Feed him if he's getting weak. Like, that's a thing, right? Do you want to Do you want to survey the camp, or do you just want to give him food? Yeah, let's survey. Let's keep listening. All right, there's What's-His-Face, and we hate him, and he's obviously not getting food. No, yeah, screw him. Soccer ball. Soccer ball gets food. Wilson. I'm good with Okay. What did you have? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. So, when did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Clint? Thank you. Okay, but well, yeah. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back and play with her for a while? Okay. How are you going to tell her you don't have time? It's I want her to be so like, busy. I don't like Duck. Alright, so we've got Carly, and Duck's here, and Clementine, and Ben, who's that kid. Ben's probably not getting food right now. There's Ken. Let's go talk. That's everybody. It's probably our best bet. Look, we've been good to me and my family. You stay tough from those monsters. But you still have to learn at the drugstore. I won't forget that. We would claim we're welcome to come with us. Let's do it. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Yes, yeah. Absolutely. No, we're staying with him throughout if we have any choice. I know that is. I'm taking All right, so that's everybody. So we have four pieces of food. Who do you want to give it to? Um. And Kenny doesn't seem mad at us, so. No, he's not, he not super mad. We gotta give some to this fellow that actually is like, I'm getting weak. All right, so we're going to Mark. And he's the guy that actually. Was out there with us. Yeah, and like, when didn't they say he brought all the food and that's why he's here? Mm-hmm. So. What do we give him? Jerky. All right. Protein? Mm-hmm. little protein boost? Excellent. Smart. Do you need any help with the war? No. Actually, we can use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? I'm like, you could borrow it. Okay. Give axe to Mark, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, he's weak. What if he slips? <laughs> oh fuck, I forgot that we called him a racist. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, it sucks because I like Mark, but I don't feel like he's long for this game either. No. Now that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. You suck. He wasn't even going up to talk to you. He was giving food. To yeah, we were talking th to Mark. You could have just mind your own fucking business. And now I guess Lee's like mad at Mark because he said that. But like, we're Lee, so fuck him. It's our yeah. decision. To... All right, so. Katya's left, and then these four, and then Kenny. Um, let's talk to this girl. What was her name? Carly. Carly. Mm. See if she's talking about being hungry. Talk. Sleeping any better? Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, we're not. Yeah. Holy shit! There's my phone. My little birdie. <laughs> um. Exit. Exit. All right. Come back. Uh, we need to go check the lady 
doing the doctoring by the pickup. She may need food. Yeah, she needs steady hands. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Tech, let's go talk to Katja. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Oh shit. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, sure. What do you need? What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Selling up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing. Close it up? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, no, cauterize it. Uh, That's what your husband wanted. It's what your husband wanted. What did her husband want? To bring him back. But I swear sometimes he's other than that. Ha ha, Rose. Alright, so do we... check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. So Katja seems fine. Yeah, she she chill, which is cool. Um, check the... Clementine, she say anything? She didn't say anything about being hungry. We didn't feed her any, well... But we saw in the in the last episode, the, like, next time, she was like, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, let's feed her. Alright, so... What do you want to give her? Crackers. Crackers are for kids. Here, you need something to eat. It's like there's a bird in our room. Um, crackers and cheese. Crackers and cheese. Would be better next time. She said a Sunday would be better next time. If you have any more food, Duffy's hungry too. Yeah, why did I get the food? I hate you. Man, I hate you, Duck. You being a little child right now, little children don't get food. But I guess you probably need to feed. Alright, so do you want to give him the other crackers? Yeah, then we got God, I hate his She's stupid crazy. face. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. Oh, God. All that's left is the apple. Uh, oh. Yeah, uh, do we need it? I don't think so. We, I don't think I gave it to myself last time. We've probably been doing all kinds of stuff, but... The loser shouldn't be, shouldn't be hungry. He's fine. I guess I ask her if she wants food. She may say no. All right, so let's ask Carly. Also, no clue where Clementine's hat is at. We can walk around here a little bit. Want some food? It just. Okay, yeah, give me the apple. God, I used to eat an apple every morning with some granola and six almonds, and that wasn't enough even then. You know what? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that was the exact like look on his face, like, all right. Oh, I guess we didn't even think about her. Oh, but yeah. I guess she was up there. Oh, she was. Hey, there's there's not anybody. <laughs> I don't have a choice. Yeah, I'm like. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. It's more than a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You want to talk, old man? Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Dude. I want to fuck this guy up. Like, fuck him up. Is this going to be... Oh, I think that we have to walk over there. Yeah, that's Katja. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go. Let him go. Let him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man in God, I tried. But he was never going to survive. So we should have just left his ass. What about the other kid? Ah! 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 So we can't even say anything. <laughs> Alex looks so freaked out. Oh my out. gosh, I was like, how the freak did a zombie get in the fortified wall? But it's because fella fella's an idiot. He did. Okay. What am I... Are we just can't oh, zombie? Yeah, no, we're just like banging his head into the truck. Slip. Good job. How did we end up in the pickup? I know, like, why are we laying in the bed of the pickup? Get out of here, dude.
Yeah, like he pulled us onto into the pickup. Or help the weak guy get the axe instead. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten. You can see a goddamn word, but he wasn't bitten. Oh, so this is where they realize it doesn't matter about bites. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? So good thing we brought him back. It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. God help us. God help us. It makes sense. Those first few days it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in the gym. Everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. That's a good way to kill yourself in a zombie apocalypse. So the is really Stupid girl. That's what, uh, that's what Cillian Murphy's parents do in 28 Days Later. I just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! We don't want any trouble. We don't want any trouble. Of course, neither do we. I'm Andy St. John. This here is my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, with, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Probably can't. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own the dairy farm. What a strange looking guy. Y'all be willing to lower your gun. He looks like one of those thumb faces that people make on thumbs. Yeah, he's he pretty weird. We got plenty of dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? Okay. You got a deal. We'll bring some gas to you, Terry. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. For a while. So, Miss Terry, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. See, that guy looks completely normal, but the other one just looks super weird. <laughs> this Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. What do we say? Silence. Alright. Do you not agree with me? Yeah, not everyone thinks I'm so trusted. Because of your past. Larry. Yeah. Right. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. You say that we were talking about the drugs. When you were blatantly talking about it. it. You're a murderer. Doesn't <laughs> <laughs> that an accident? I, I assume. You know, I don't know what you mean about Sometimes I wonder what I should talk to the group about. Like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Mother is right now. Well, it's my hometown, I guess. Hmm. Well, that place seemed better days, huh? You can say that again. Y'all seem pretty settled in with that motor in. Who's running things over there? It's a democracy. Yeah, I'm like... 
We're being sketch. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people have you got over there anyway? Change subject. Well, the fugitives are new to survive, but we're all looking forward to some food. <laughs> Here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food. Quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. You just I've found a new home. In the dairy for as long as I can remember. But now it's. You think you're going to cut me out of this? Shh, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You dairy, you're always poking. Bandits. Who? Those look like people who are in the camp. They did not get the subtitles working good on this. Jesus. <laughs> that shit escalated quickly. <laughs> That shit was intense. I need to wrap up the episode, but I, want, I don't want to wrap up on a fucking... I don't want to stop rolling and then it's like, here's an important piece of thing. Once we get... I think we're pretty close to a part where we start walking around ourselves. Family day. in a zapper. Spent those 4,000 bolts through that thing. Generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. I'm like, what sucks is that that's got to, you know, they're eventually going to run out of fuel. Can't have kids around the fence. Doesn't seem safe to have the real Don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in limits. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm bringing this, John. This is our mama. This is St. John Derry. This here's Lee. He's been living down at the old motel. By the way, we have a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Hmm. We work together? Yeah. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Wait, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here. Tell you I was alive. <laughs> we brought gas. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. Things are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. Yeah. Hopefully maybe I will make it through this while with whatever she's got to be with us for a good long while. You kind of see? What she... We have a vet, but we can bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh, Shut up, Mark. <laughs> maybe like, these people are already super weird. Dude, no, take the other one. That looks weird. A nice feast made from the last people that came to join us. Remember, I can handle myself. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Take care of yourself. Someone, yeah, get Ben out of here. <laughs> ben is human shield material. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the perimeter. Is that a problem? Sometimes they get tangled up in the fence before the fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help to keep off the perimeter. 
We can under glue some about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generator before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. Dude, shut up, Mark. That fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. Mark is not making it to episode three. I have a feeling. Let's make sure it's a place is safe. This place is as safe as it is. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed the broken swing. Not a big deal. Maybe there's other things not working. I just can't see. Gotta check in the fence door anyway. Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright. I'll keep my eyes open. And you find out what you can for now. Her last name is St. John. Yeah, that's what everyone's last name is. Alright, guys, so. This episode ran a little long, a little way long, but uh, we're wrapping it up here. And on the next episode, we will start to explore the creepy St. John Dairy. So, guys, thank you as always to Alex for being here with me. Oh, yeah. Thanks to you guys at home for tuning in. And, guys, as always, be good to yourself, be good to each other, uh, be careful of strangers, and we will see you in the next episode. Later days, guys. <laughs>